G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonsai Works. We have a juniper of some sort. Uh, this tree belongs to a customer of mine. Um, the, he's, um, he's asked me to look, have a go at this tree now. One thing you can't see is probably the massive scarring that's on the trunk. It's absolutely really indented and really quite deep and, and, and quite vicious, I should say. Um, really thick, deep scarring junipers. It's okay, they'll grow out as well, so it's not too bad makes rough bark okay but these are really really deep so I'm gonna have to have a go at trying to do something with this tree it's very um it's very straight very flexible it's actually very flexible which is good news for me because that means I can wire it and bend it how I like to so it's got a nice little side branch here this little trunk in here nice little side branch maybe we can make a little tree here but my, my goal is to actually try and create get this much smaller and shorter so by using lots of heavy wire, bringing it in close, making a smaller tree and a little and a semi, like a small side tree here, maybe two trees, something like that. Um, or maybe a little semi cascade branch with a, with, a, with a big taller tree here, something like that. From side on you can see the tree falls backwards quite, quite a fair way away. This is nice movement here, going back a little, then the tree has to come forward. So my goal is to get it really bent up and twisted and, and right around and try and shrink it as much as I can. But I have to be extremely careful because of the wire marks. So first things first is I apply heavy 6mm aluminium to this tree. I'll probably wire I'll probably wire this trunk with it to about here, to the first branch, and then wire the top because I'm not going to really bend that. And as long as I've got an anchor point on, on this bit, bit part here, I can bend it. But because the, the wire marks have gone in this way, what's that? Okay, we can say it's any clockwise, clockwise, whatever. I'm going to just have to go the opposite direction, okay? I can't keep going the same direction or I'll pretty much snap the branch. So I'm going to go opposite the direction of this wire, that wire marks on this on this tree. So that helps me create much more stability when I, when I bend the branch. And I'll also make my cores very close together. By making them close together, it stops the tree splitting. So I'm going to go ahead and start to wire this tree with this heavy gauge 6mm and we'll come back and have a look. All right, everyone, so what I thought I'd do is take you through how I now style this or create the tree that I want to create so I have fully wired the tree every branch I've wired it looks kind of reasonable already um, but you can see the leaning backwards you can see I've heavy wired the trunk now I'll try and keep um, the, the, the image in shot while I do it but I want to try and um, I need to work on the tree as well but this is, this is how I go about it hopefully you guys can pick up some ideas but first things first wire the whole tree <laughs> I haven't cut anything off, I haven't cut any major branches off. Um, I've trimmed a few, you know, long bits and, and things like that, but majority of the branches are all there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and keep this angle of the tree. I'll, it's kind of nice, I don't want to change it too much. But I want to check the flexibility. Remember like last time I was just checking. If I need to guy wire, I will cut away and just put a guy wire on, which is most likely I need to do anyway. So I'm just trying to I want to try and decrease the size, shrink it down. I'm not talking because I've got to concentrate. So <laughs> please excuse the silence. By going backwards, I try and shorten the, the length. And I want to try and eliminate any really straight parts, so that's why I'm trying to curve and bend things around. Now you probably can start seeing that the apex is now coming more towards the top of the pot or the or the front in the middle of the pot rather than it was falling backwards. So it's more more here now, which is good. Which is what I was trying to get to. So kind of reduce the height, reduce that it was too far away 
Now it's more in the center of, of, the, of the tree. Now it's more of a, what do we do with this branch as well? How we, we're gonna create, keep it a branch, we're making it a little trunk, a couple little things, but I'm gonna first just get all these in place now. So I'll start with the first main one. I haven't finished totally this, I wanna, I wanna just try and tweak some of these branches, see how they all fit in. Now I've already wired them all out, so you can see they're nicely wired, but the foliage on this tree is a bit um, unkept, it's a bit wild. So I just have to deal with what it what it is. Anything underneath I'll just pluck. Kind of start to position that first branch in there. Now I'm just trying to work where I'm going to put this guy because I don't know how where I'm going to put this just just yet. I will have to think about it now when I, when I look at this branch. Maybe I'll decide to just move around here to create space that I need. I'm going to put this one in place now too to just see how all fits in together. So I've kind of roughly positioned some of these branches where they want to go, where I want them to go. I'll keep working on some of these, but I want to look where I'm going to put this now. Where I'm going to put this. So I'm just trying to make room for the tree. I'm trying to think, do I make it a just a branch or a trunk? I think I like I think I like the idea of a trunk, another trunk. So I want to try and get some movement into it. So first thing I want to go back a little bit so I can shrink it. So I've shrunk it a bit. Maybe I want to bring it closer. I'm probably going to bring it closer to the trunk as well. So let's get it closer. So I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm trying to get backwards a bit, bring this forward to make a branch. I'm going to try and bring this up, see if I can create an apex with it. So it's very rough because of the foliage is quite, as I said, sparse. Um, but you can see a nice little branch here. This branch is kind of blocking that, that big twists and stuff like that, which is nice. I'm going to create a little apex in here with a couple of branches. Just needs time to fill out now. There's not much I can really do, but at least the structure's kind of there. So you can, nice little tree in here, but I had to move this out of the way. So now I'm gonna find a place for that. And I think maybe we can put it towards the back, which is, I needed a back branch anyway, so. That's good news. So it's a bit better now. I might bring it just a little bit forward and tweak it a little bit more as I go, but you see the one, see what I was trying to do. The other trick is foliage falls down, you just give it a little tap of the foliage, all the things you to cut off fall away. Where are we? Two. Don't have much in here, so I might have to just drop him into this spot. Got to reduce because it's too long. All this is too long because you know all the short top branches can't be too long, longer than the bottom branches. I'm not on a not on a juniper anyway. So I can probably fit in there. Can just fit. There somewhere for now, probably too long. Let's look at some of these branching. Where's this one? Drop him into there. I've got a good branch in here that will make a bit of a nice pad for me, so I will keep that and concentrate on this branch a little bit more. 
because this will form a nice pad up here. branching in here. Alright, so I kind of starting to make some headway into all this. But I'm moving very fast. Usually I'll take a lot slower. I'll go back and check everything anyway. But um, once it's fully wide, that's what you can do. You can just hit it, hit it and just get it done. It's so easy. So much better. Less time wasted. So when I do workshops for clubs and um, and a person, and one of the members actually wires their tree fully for me, I can actually restyle it very quick. So probably one of the best things about it is, yeah, but if you if you haven't got what your tree wires, I'm not going to be able to do it for you in a workshop. So um, so best thing is, if you can wire your trees quickly, you can get a finished tree just about in any workshop. So getting there, it's looking pretty good. Let's find spots for everything else now. Now it's just finding places for the branches that you got. Now we come to the apex, we try and start to work with just finding spots for everything. Sometimes I think, how do the um, those professional, you know, demonstrators can talk and try and work on a tree at the same time with with the pressure of actually being watched? Wow, that's impressive because <laughs> it is quite. I like to try to concentrate on the tree, and I sometimes forget the camera's going or people are watching, so it's hard to keep up the dialogue. But those professionals, they're just amazing how they can just keep talking and talking and just keep working on a tree. It's just really good talent to do that. Because now I've got something which actually looks reasonable in very quick time, like it's a bit messy. What I'll do is I'll go away and clean it up, but you can see the amount of difference the trees. I need to probably shorten this a little bit. But now the apex sits in the top middle of the tree. We've actually created a nice little small tree here, bigger tree here, looks quite nice. It's a couple little issues, but I'll sort them out. There's no back branch in here. But I'll sort all this out, clean it up, and I'll show you the final product when I'm done. But there's the idea of once a tree's wide, 10 minutes later, you can actually position everything and have a finished tree. Okay, so here's the finished tree after I've cleaned up a lot of the pads, a lot of the growth underneath, and just tidied up. It's actually come up pretty nice. This, 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 this little tree here is really quite cute. I like it. This apex is really good too. It came up really nice. And the whole tree now is actually forward and sits in the, sits at the top in the middle, which actually what you wanted to do. It's got the lovely triangular shape, nice flowing, looks like a mature tree. Before it was a bit leggy and untidy. But um, that's all it is. So the key lesson here is wire. Wire your trees, wire every branch. I keep saying it, it's the only way to create really, really top quality, especially with conifers, pines, junipers. Um, best way to do it. Um, nothing else. This had a lot of damage obviously to the trunk so having heavy wire as well on this tree helps to protect that whilst we bent it so that's the other good point but all in all come up really nice for what it is um, the foliage could be better for a juniper but it is what it is with this tree there's little bits hanging everywhere but that's okay we'll sort them out but overall come up okay come up pretty nice wire your trees that's the way to do it thanks for watching guys and i'll see you soon